Got Affinity Designer version 2.6.2 on the iPad and you can see I've already got that little area there highlighted and I want to remove the segment of that um, shape there that goes across the little stick man's arm because that's his sleeve. It should be behind the arm. You shouldn't be able to see it. I know that's quite picky but that's the way we're going to do it. So I'm going to enlarge it quite a bit. Now you can see it's made up of a couple of different lines, but let's get the stroke in place first. Now you can see them. Now I want to remove that bit that goes across his arm, but you've got to be careful where your starting and ending lines are because you can see they're quite different. There's a red dot almost in the center there. Now I can't touch it for obvious reasons because it'll move. But what I've got to do, now I've got the node tool selected, I want to select where I want the line to start or end. Now you can see the other end is in highlight. But what I want to do is start there. Now I want to end that line there. Go up to the break tool, select break. Go back to the original starting point, which is that blue dot or square I've got there now. Now press delete and it's gone. So you, if you've got a lot of lines really close to each other and it's not working, make sure that you enlarge it enough so you can see where the start and end points are of your lines. Okay, that's, used, that's doing it by one method. Let's reduce that in size now. You can see where his arm is. Let me just unselect everything there. Now the sleeve is in the right position. There's a line underneath his arm there. Let's select the node tool again. Select that there. Now we've got the cutting tool there, the knife tool. And you can see I've just hidden it so that it's not visible. Let's touch the X so that there's, there you go, and it's removed it. Now that was a very obvious line, you see, and I could use the knife tool to cut that one out. But that little one where his sleeve was, that would have been quite difficult to do. And really, that's the two options. So we'll have a look at some more momentarily. The last method I'd like to show you is fairly straightforward. Let's draw a line with the pencil tool. And it's really just a continuation of the, of the other ones that we've used. Now you can see there's a couple of points along there, but let's go to the node tool and We'll select that one there. Now you can see the other nodes come up, but what I'm going to do directly here is just select break there. So that one is broken. Then I'll go along here because I want to select just there and break that one as well. Now you can see over here, there's two curves selected here, but I just want that one in the layers panel. So just that curve that we put up there to start with. Now we can either hide that and you can see that it's now hidden or we can delete it altogether. Now there's that one completely deleted. So you've broken it in two places, selected it out of the layers panel and deleted it altogether. Now all that's left there is that little bit of the curve there or if you like the one above it which is that one there. Okay, I think that's about it for the number of options that you've got, but you can see if one doesn't work, try the other one. There's lots of options for removing segments or pieces of a line or curve. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.